Hello, my name is Dian Ivan Binstock. I'm the rabbi at St John's Wood Synagogue and a Dian of the London Bethlehem. Hello. I've been asked to talk to you today about what is Havdalah and why is it important. Havdalah means differentiation and it is a ceremony we perform when Shabbat goes out or the termination of a festival as well and it parallels Kiddush, the ceremony we make when Shabbat enters. Now, all of us will want to welcome a guest appropriately, a special person that's visiting our home, and in the same way, we should we would want to escort them appropriately as well. And so, Havdalah is the escorting of the guest of Shabbat as it leaves, in the way that Kiddush is the welcoming of that guest when the guest arrives. There are four key blessings we make when Havdalah is performed, the blessing on wine, the blessing on spices, the blessing on the candle, and the bracha havdalah, the differentiation, hamavdiyum in Kodesh Lachol, the God who differentiates between the sanctity of the Shabbat and the weekday. There's a fascinating mnemonic given by a 15th century authority known as the Tajbets to help us remember the order in which these blessings are made. He says, just look at a human face and go upwards. First, there is the wine that's imbibed in the mouth. And then as we go up, there is the nostrils, where we smell the spices. Going up further are the eyes, where we see the candle. And at the top is the head, which contains the brain, which is the capacity for havdalah, for differentiation. Now, if a person forgets to make havdalah on a Saturday night, they should still make havdalah the following day as well, on the Sunday. But on that occasion, just use the wine and the bracha havdalah. We don't use the candle or the spices anymore. Indeed, we can continue to make Havdalah not only on a Sunday, but Monday and Tuesday as well, right up until sunset on Tuesday, because we say the sanctity of the Shabbat casts an aura that continues halfway into the following week. Once Wednesday begins on Tuesday night, then we're already looking forward to the following Shabbat, the following week that's about to come upon us. Why do we use the spices when we make Havdalah? Because we say on Shabbat we have the blessing of a neshama yatera, an extra soul, a heightened spirituality. And when that leaves us, when Shabbat goes out, there are withdrawal symptoms, if you like, and these are eased by the smelling of fragrant spices. Why the candle? Well, the candle is a reminder to us that when Shabbat has been taking place, we've been not allowed to make any fire, which is one of the key prohibitions of the Sabbath. And as the Shabbat ends, we use the opportunity to re-enter the workday week by sanctifying a blessing on the creation of light. Now, Havdalah means not only the separation between Shabbat and the weekday, but in that blessing we refer to the distinction between Israel and other nations, between light and dark, between holy and profane. Now, I know many people will make Kiddush on their homes on Friday night, but I know fewer people make Havdalah. That's a pity, because if we really understand the deeper message of Havdalah, we will have the resources to enable us to interact and engage with the real world around us, but at the same time express our unique, distinctive Jewish identity.